everybody have a good weekend? Yeah. I had a great one because for a lot of it, I was uh, just uh, ass deep in Robitussin. <laughs> And I managed to forget that there was another presidential debate on Sunday night. Uh, and this time, it was the Democrats. Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, and I want to say... Morton O'Muttley. <laughs> Milton O'Mangle. <laughs> Munch me muffler. I know. I was so close this weekend to remaining blissfully unaware of this debate, but they got me at the last second when I was flipping channels between Downton Abbey and Billions. Because like Bernie Sanders, I love watching rich people suffer. <laughs> and I'm not the only one who wasn't aware of it because this whole election, Democrats have been hiding. But this was the worst. This time we have a Sunday night on a holiday weekend. There are NFL football playoffs. And as somebody mentioned to me on Twitter, Downton Abbey, on tonight. It's going against Downtown Abbey, a, a new episode. Why is Sunday night? I mean, Sunday night is Downtown Abbey night. Sunday night is Madam Detective night. Yes, last night, America would rather have watched Madam Detective, a TV show that, for the record, does not exist. Still, it sounds pretty good. I would watch Madam Detective. I believe they're going to show the next Democratic debate after the closing credits of the Fantastic Four. <laughs> so, since you couldn't see it through the Romulan cloaking device they threw over the debate, let me sum it up for you. Bernie accused Hillary of popping champagne with her Wall Street buddies in a hot tub filled with the tears of poor people. <laughs> Hillary said Bernie's record on guns means he has innocent blood on his hands that no amount of that hippie Dr. Bronner soap can wash off. <laughs> But the biggest revelation about these candidates did not come out of the debate. In an interview with Time magazine, Bernie Sanders dropped a bombshell about his past that will shake up this entire race. As president, you have to preside over state dinners. You have to host the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Let me go on record. You ready for this? Yeah. You got a scoop. You ready for a scoop? Here it is. I do not own a tuxedo. <laughs> Never have I worn a tuxedo. That's right. Never has Bernie Sanders worn a tuxedo. Ever. <laughs> Possibly because they don't make tuxedos in rumpled tweed. <laughs> even, even at Bernie's own wedding, he wore a blue suit with a red tie. He looks like he's running for president of his own marriage. <laughs> I, I think I know what's really going on here. When Senator Sanders says he's never worn a tuxedo, what he secretly wants to share with the American people is that he never got to go to prom. I mean, he would have worn a tuxedo if he'd been to prom. I mean, and this explains everything. Who's more obsessed with inequality than an unpopular high school student? 90% of the dates in the school are going to the top 1% of the basketball team. <laughs> Making out under the bleachers with the cheerleaders should be a right, not a privilege. <laughs> Especially if you just got your braces off. We need to regulate our locker manufacturers so that when non-athletic students get shoved inside the locker, they can be open from the inside. It is a national shame. There needs to be equal redistribution. There must be redistribution of cafeteria seats so that everyone has someone to sit with at lunch, as well as equal time for discussing non-sports conversation topics, such as the visionary science fiction of Arthur C. Clarke. <laughs> so, America, I think there's only one thing for us to do here. To get Bernie into a tux and to give him the closure he needs from high school, we have to ask Bernie Sanders to the prom. And to that end, I have created this image available on our website <laughs> for you to Photoshop yourself into of you on a prom date with Senator Sanders. The theme of the prom, of course, enchantment under our unfair financial system. <laughs> so, download the image at ColbertLateShow.com and then upload your version to Twitter with the hashtag BerniePromposal. And together, as a nation, we can officially ask Bernie Sanders to prom. If the night goes well, you won't just be feeling the burn. The burn might be feeling you.